What's happening everybody? Kyle Smith, Platform Sports League. Welcome. We're going to go through a new little series, okay? I had an idea of basically going through an offensive playbook or an offensive bank um, that as if I was the offensive coordinator, what kind of offense would I run? Uh, how would I go about installing it and breaking down in all different sections? So we are going to start and create an offensive bank up here, okay? And first will be a group of runs. So basically what will happen is I'll put as many videos as I can out, um, breaking down each specific play, each specific play type, and how I would go about installing that and teaching that. So hopefully you can get a lot of information out of that uh, and it kind of hopefully be interactive, any questions going on, and we can get a discussion, get a community building revolving around installing an offense okay so to start off I'm going with the run game we're starting with the big boys up front we're starting with the personality of the offense um, I can't really put a, a title or a family or a t um, type of offense that I would run um, it, it would be a multiple offense with different types of schemes and different types of options going along depending on scenario so we're just going to dive right into it we're going to go into the run section, and the first play we're going to break down is going to be power. Power is a personality play. Um, I think it's indicative and says a lot about an offense if this is the first play that you're putting in. It's personality. Like I said, we're going to line up, uh, attack the line of scrimmage, attack the point of attack, and really create a feel for the offense and the tempo. Okay, so with along with the word power, how I would organize is basically, I don't know if this is old school or not, uh, with the number system. So really, uh, for the most part, I think our four main runs are listed below, and we can get into these later on. But here is how I would break down the number system. Um, the tailback is what I would say the two back, okay? Um, zero or one would indicate uh, the type of play, the play type, and what we're running. So if I call, you know, pro right, which is this formation, it's very basic, that's how we'll start. If I call pro right 20, okay, pro right 20, 2 0, that means the tailback is running the power and everybody else is going to adjust off of that. All right, so let's get into it and starting with this basic formation. So in all of these plays, I was taught to install the play from the very basic form with the two back two back backfield two back formation because there's always going to be full back rules okay your full back might not line up in the I formation uh, there's so many different spots that a full back slash tight end could line up but we'll start off with the I formation and really talk about his rules and what we're doing from there and then from this formation from this basic formation we can do everything else um, that you could think of possible in the football world. So we're going to start here, okay? First things first, we're going to go through three quick uh, progression steps, all right? Every play is going to follow this progression and we'll have an answer for everything on this board. So, number one, is it an overblocked or is it an underblocked play? This means one thing. Where the point is, if we call this play to the right and the point is to the left. The point is what the center identifies the most important defender where everybody is working off of. If that point is behind that center line, we're going to call that an underblocked play. Okay? This will all make sense as we move forward, but I'm identifying this as an underblocked play. If we call that play a run play to the right and that point is somewhere on the right side of the formation, that's an overblocked play. Okay? And again, that'll come into an understanding later on, but at the same time, that is tremendously important for the whole offense to understand where the point of attack is and where everybody is working towards, okay? So, with power, if I'm calling 20 to 0, we're running power to the right, and the point is going to be on the left-hand side or the back side. That means this play is going to be an underblock play, okay? The actual point, we'll talk about that. The, the center breaks the huddle, and he's always going to identify this point. It's where everybody else on the offense is working off of. So he's going to go up. He's going to look head up to backside, and that first linebacker that he, he sees and identifies, 
that's who the point is going to be, okay? In this play, as far as the uh, point of attack and who's working there, it's the tackle and guard. The front side tackle and guard know that they're gap blocking, okay? Taking care of whoever is in their way and moving towards that point. So this double team will happen here on that three technique and that guard knows usually to come off and work for that point or that point's eventually working to him, okay? Tight end always is tied to the defensive end unless there's some type of other tag, okay? Center is back blocking or gap blocking for this uh, guard that will be pulling. The guard knows that he is pulling for plus one, okay? Plus one means literally one defender positive from that point. So again, he's working, he understands who the point is, and he's know, he knows who he's pulling for. And that's going to be that Mike linebacker right there. So he's going to pull, step back, he's going to do something which I, I've learned as, as grab the pole. It's a kind of a buzzword where basically that first gap that he sees off of this double team, he's going to grab that pole, get right up vertical, and put his face on that Mike linebacker right, up, right on that second level. Okay? Next important piece is the fullback. The fullback, wherever he is, this is where it comes important as far as uh, alignment, he's always going to go for plus two. Okay, so he understands where the point is, he knows where plus one is, he knows where plus two is, and he's going to work through that line, wherever, however he can get to plus two, he's going to work that way. The uh, left tackle, backside tackle, is going to step in to seal that gap. Work back out, they call it like a stepping hinge or, or hinging gate, whatever you want to call it. There's different words. He's doing that, sealing off the backside end. Running back, okay? This is an important phase, obviously, how he reads this play. We are going to take certain steps. I mean, we can talk about steps. We can go into that further, but I'll let you coach anything that you want to coach for, the, for that running back. But what's important is that he wants to be in phase with what's going on up here, okay? We don't want the tailback to be ramming up the butt of the guard or the fullback and getting into a traffic jam. You want to have patience, you want to have some space. So what I learn is slide, tap, drive, slide, tap, drive. And we can go into that further, but that's his footwork. He's going to step with his right foot, tap with his left, and then get vertical with his right foot on his third step. He goes through that transition with the uh, quarterback and we're going to take in what's called um, a three-step three, three step progression with a running back read. Okay, It's called punch, then alley, and then a jump. Okay, So within power, the punch is that first read. All right, If that A gap is there, that's his goal. If that A gap is open, which a three technique and a nose backside it might be, that three tech, that that A gap is open, I'm going to punch it right up into that gap and go, all right? If that three technique or a different type of shade moves in or these two, this double team works in towards the A gap, we're going to alley this thing, which is the next available gap in there and move uh, up to that second level, okay? With my shoulder square, with the ability to create space and get up to that next level, all right? And then obviously you can read off the second level defender. If the last read would be a jump, okay? If for some reason this six, six eye technique, or if it's a five, this tight end washes that end down again, then it's one more bump out to that next gap. We're gonna jump out, basically shoulder square, and work off of this perimeter block and whatever's happening right here, okay? That is two back power, all right? There'll be tons of variations off of that, and we'll keep going from there. Um, until, you know, we'll get into other breakdowns next and keep going through different videos. But for now, that's two back power. I appreciate you tuning in. Stick with us for next time.